And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing ukulele. Uh, so, so far in Capital Cashina, we have 152 uh, quills. We have uh, 10 uh, pages, but we have enough uh, casino coins for 8 more. Um, all the special items and 3 of the Ghost Riders. So we just finished... Uh, the car toast run here, which was a little more eventful than uh, than your standard run, considering that's where this level's boss was. Yeah. Welcome, chumps, uh, customers. Fancy your hand at golf, do you? I mean, we've never played golf before, actually, but we'll give it a go. When in Capital Cashino. Splendid! Allow me to share the absolutely not crooked rules of casino golf. Rule zero one: Tee off with a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. Rule zero two: Transport the ball to the hole before the timer runs out. Rule zero three: All pages must be left with me before the round starts. Don't worry, I'll take good care of them. I'm not sure about that last rule. I think we're going to ignore it. Oh, well, that was neat. Here we go up there. There we go. Okay. And off we go. Ah. I think that was heading straight for the sand, actually, if not for the fact that, uh... Okay, here we go. I'll worry about the quills later here. Looks like the sand is completely inconsequential, actually. Ow. Oh, that was easy. No, Yuka, this is not how you play golf. Well, I mean, wonderful. It appears we have a winner. <sighs> Collect your prize and have a lovely day. Uh, maybe that's not how golf is usually played, but that's how Yuka plays golf. And now I get these quills, since I have completed this task. We must be getting close to the point where... Um, Okay, nine quills left, and then the quills are going to start whistling at us. That was like a plus 15. Fortunately, the only rule was get the ball in the hole.
Okay, let's see if we can find our way to the vault. Oh, actually, we haven't done this yet. And yeah, we're going to need to punt our way in there. Looks like we might need to add a bit of a jump to that. There we go. And suddenly, Eurobeat. All right. It's probably going to be a thing where they just keep spawning and just ignore them as much as possible, get the quills, get out. Yeah, it looks like we're getting whistling quills at this point. Oh, okay. Please stop crowding. Oops, not what I wanted to do. There we go. A bit of a bit of a tilty thing going on here. I can clearly hear something here, but I don't see any quills. Anyway. Maybe I actually have to, like, destroy you or something? Didn't think so. Dang. All right, so that is four of the five uh, Ghost Riders. I think we've only still gotten only one stage where we got all the Ghost Riders. Anything down here? Looks like no. I guess they're down here, yeah. Let's see if I can like carefully break this without, yeah, there we go. And I managed to miss one of them, cool. Background we go. Fortunately, this this go around is going to be a lot faster. Uh, 
Ow. Or I should say, Kikigur Kikigur. There we go. I was worried there for a second that I was going to miss it again. Oh, hello. And here's a machine that we haven't done yet. Dang. Oh wait, I didn't uh yeah, I didn't get Yuka a uh, ukulele on the first one. Yeah. There we go. Now for Big Bertha over here. I hit both there somehow. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. Yes, I can. Okay. There we go. So now that I remember that, uh, you know, the sonar thing is a thing, there's uh, somewhere around here is, a, is something that we can do. I can find it again. Here it is. Yeah, I think at this point the uh the tokens are also whistling. They didn't like put anything down here, did they? Other than enemies? That seems like the sort of thing that they would do. There we go.
Warg. Get out of here. All right, so that's one more thing done. Ah, oh, yes, sneaky, sneaky. Wait, I felt the thing. Where is it? I can't stand on any part of that. It's nearby. It's like on top of that tree, isn't it? No. You know what would be great, game? Is a visual cue. Like you, you're giving me an audio clue and you're, oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am pretty sure that I need the helicopter for that. I think there was like one of these side zones that I wasn't able to complete. I hope that was the only one. <laughs> Now, where was the vault again? Yeah, we can go for a while, actually. Ah, uh, there it is. And the time that it takes us to just run the rest of the way, we'll probably have our energy back, yeah. So is this basically just a stealth mission? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, there we go. It's going to wait a second here for the energy to come back. Um, okay, there's the, there you go. Uh, camera, please. There we go. Okay, I was wondering there what was keeping us previously from just flying in there, but uh, that answers my question. Hmm. The climbing thing with the sonar, you say? Wah. Now they're all seeing me. Stretch and posture, okay. I think I slept wrong last night, actually. Because the right side of my back has been hurting all day. Imagine that should clear up tomorrow. I'm just going to take the... Uh, the helicopter there, I think. It's just going to be the easier way. Plus, we need to use the helicopter for that one um, broken slot machine that we saw. Also, I keep forgetting that I can like hold down uh, the R button to uh, continuously center the camera. But yeah, once I can remember where that one broken slot machine was. I think it was around the um the roulette area actually. Yeah, there it is. And I'm just going to take a bath and get rid of this. 
There we go. And I think I'm good on this stage. Uh, let's go cash in our uh, tokens. And then we'll be off unless I get uh, distracted again, as I always do. I forgot a thing on the outer wall. Or I had to so I don't know what you're talking about, Jewel. Unless you're I think I think you're talking about a thing that I've already done. Are you talking about this? Because uh, if you're talking about this jewel, uh, I've already been here. But I appreciate you looking out for me. Because that, that is definitely the sort of thing that I would forget. Exchange these tokens, please, banker. Are you sure you wouldn't prefer some free spins on the roulette instead? No, we're a pages only operation. So that brings us up to 41. And we are missing nine quills and three pages. And you know what? I think I'm good. Yes, I did inside, Jewel. Please, come find me again when you're in the mood for some top deals. That's eh, okay, Jewel. Making sure that I get the maximum of things and stuff. Uh, so let's go talk to... Um, let's go talk to Trouser. But we're not going to go to stage five just yet. For years, they've told me a book-absorbing corporate layer wasn't in demand. Now look at it. Greetings, my old pals. The next free-of-charge move is the one you've been waiting for. The one that will let you soar like an eagle carrying a serpent. Finally, I was starting to think you'd never teach us anything useful. 
To start Flappy Flight, simply hold left trigger and press X. You can use A to fly and L, uh, L stick to descend. And with that, you've learned all my free of charge moves. See you in the next book world, chaps. It's been emotional. See you soon, Trouser. Uh, so, wait, left, what was it, the hold, oh, okay, see, I was thinking X in terms of this being a Nintendo controller, there we go. Naturally, this is taking up um, energy. <laughs> Which doesn't really work because Trouser isn't bottles and doesn't seem to care. Oh, well, Bottles is a lovable dork, and Trouser is a capitalist. There is quite the difference there. Yep, that's all three, all right. Let's go ahead and head over there. There we go. And see what we can see. Now that we can actually fly around, uh, we should be able to get a bunch of new stuff. There is very little that's preventing us from anything at this point. Which isn't to say that we're not going to run into any issues trying to fly around and find the remaining things. I can still very easily get turned around. Plus, I do need to take the occasional break to um, restore my energy. Such as right now. But I gotta say, like, the actual, like, resource management in this game, I really appreciate the fact that they, like, okay. There we go. But yeah, I really appreciate the fact that they've, like, simplified, like, in, oh. That was a bad idea. There we go. <clears throat> in in Banjo Kazooie games, like you had resources for everything, yeah, like individual resources for shooting, for being invincible, for flying, and you can only fly in certain places. And like that's kind of one of the biggest improvements in this game. You can fly anywhere. 
You have one resource for everything. And the resource does regenerate itself like that. Whoa, what's going on? Camera was having a little bit of a freak out there. I, th I think it might have like uh, hit the top edge of the map or something. And the only thing is, like, I don't remember the place where I needed the the spin dash. I know that's not what it's called, but that's basically what it is. I also think so. I just don't remember where it is. No, that wasn't it. I see something over there. I think it was just a lantern. Where are the things? And we'll pause here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot collect your mouse cursor. And it's just that again. believe this just leads back to the start. As does this. It's kind of a warp zone around the level type of thing. Ow. That was leading to like super fog world. Now. Yeah, there isn't anything here.
some underwater thing. Hmm. Well, the most underwater entrances are over here. No, this wasn't it. Oh. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Hmm. And uh, that seems to be the only uh the only actual underwater entrance in this space. That underwater entrance leads directly back to the tome, but I believe there is one here ish. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's not actually an entrance, that's just a path to a pagey that I already got. The only other place that I can think of is around where Dr. Puzz is. The thing is around here, right? Yeah, Dr. Puzz is there. Moody Maze Marsh is the name of this level. Uh, no, that's not going to do it. This might be it. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Come on. All right. Dang. There we go. 
friggin' mechano bees. Surprise I made it through that. There we go. Back up to full health. It's probably going to help in this situation because, wow. I'm just going to grab these quills over here just so I don't have to worry about them. Oh, wait a minute. We got a pagey there. We got all the quills and that gave us a pagey. So assumingly there's another pagey at the end of this, and then we find the yellow um, ghost rider and that's it. So if you'd like, Jewel, you can look up where the, really? You can look up where the yellow ghost rider is. So that we can be done with this level. Oh. Oh, come on, how many of these are there? Also, Julia, I'm not I'm not sure which floating logs you're referring to. That was the wrong button. The ones that move. All right. All right, so this is probably what you're talking about. Um, beyond the floating laws, a small area can be found after several platforms. There it is. Well, we've super cleared Moody Maze Marsh. We never have to come back here again. And I kind of wish that they had like a special animation for like, yeah, you've done it. Now get out. <laughs>
Uh, let's see, I, yeah, the button was on the other side. Oh. May as well. No reason not to. Whatever, let's just, uh, oh, that, this is what I was looking for, this thing right here, just so we don't have to do the underwater place. And the book is closed on Moody Maze Marsh. Uh, let's go check out Glitter Glaze Glacier. Now. If I can remember where the uh, the shortcut to the second area is. I think this is it. Or maybe this is the shortcut to the first area, which, yeah, either way. Oh, this is a shortcut to the hub. All right. Now, surely we won't have to do a quiz again, are we? And yeah, no, the answer is no, we don't do the quiz again. That would be silly. I have my doubts I'll be able to uh, super clear this as well, but yeah, you never know. Still got about 48 minutes maximum. We have a lot of things that we can do now. If cartridges were, if cartridges were still popular, this game would have loaded by now. Or, you know, if we were playing on the Switch, uh, it tends to load pretty quickly. Well, then again, I don't know. I, I don't know if the Switch version uh, loads any faster. Yeah, it's hard to tell like exactly which pages to look up, right? It's like, which ones have I done? Which ones haven't I? Uh, 
Let's check our totals. So we have 12 quills. Uh, we have the blue uh, ghost rider we haven't found. And we still, wow, well, we still have seven uh, pages. One of which is going to be for uh, ghost riders, one of which is going to be for quills. Oh yeah, the hats. I haven't done the hats yet. Remember this puzzle gave us so much trouble for no reason? The blue ghost rider is terrible. Lay it on me. All right, so we're going to have to gather the hats again, unfortunately. Underneath the water, follow the vertical quills trail that I probably have already collected. Cool. All right. It's underwater somewhere. <laughs> cool. Ah, dang. Yeah, so first let's get all of the hats. Dang it. Uh. Reminder that this is the improved version of truck physics. Okay, so we got the pants hat. And yes, this is a hat. Yeah, there usually are five of things. Be careful not to land in the water, otherwise we're going to have to get our transformation again. We have the pirate hat. Okay, I guess I can't just ram these guys. I don't think there was any escaping that. Uh, which one are you looking for? You're the pirate. You have the pirate hat. I mean, you can you can send the uh, the hat locations like one at a time, keeping in mind that I have so far the pirate hat and I have delivered it, and I have the pants hat.
I think there's one in here. Now I have the top hat. So I have two left. And here's one of them. I have the cowboy hat, so I only have the one left. Underneath Wild Snow near Vendi is located Ah Friggin' eyeballs. There we go. All right, well, good night, Tyrion. Thanks for dropping by, and I'm sure I will have a lot of fun with the truck physics. Okay, um, I, I, hmm. So I have the cowboy hat. The witch hat is under underneath the pile of snow, located on top of the igloo cliffs. In between the entrance of the Glitterglaze uh, Cave and, and the Frozen Paths exit. On top of the Igloo Clay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I think I know what that is. And I, I, and I have all the others. As one would figure that the igloo cliffs are where the igloos are. Um, and it's just a matter of remembering where the igloos are. Which asking me to remember something is, uh, is a big ask. There it is. See, I can't even remember that I, that I cannot charge into these guys. Okay. So now I need to turn in these hats. And so far I have turned in the pirate hat. So I know that the witch is in um is in the cave. There we go. Crystalline cave. Oh, pfft. all right. I gotta go untransform first. Fortunately, untransforming. Let's jump into the water. All transformations except for one are water soluble. Yeah, there you are.
Okay. Also, let's look for old Bluey. See if we can spot it from up here. I think the blue one is the one that hides, isn't it? Yeah, this, I believe, is uh, Glitter Glaze Cave. No, this is Gloomy Gem Grotto. My blue glow story hides from you, can. And you will flicker its presence and create vocal cues to give the duo an opportunity to find her. And it must use her sonar shot, abil sonar shot ability to find and collect that. Yeah. And Heidi is underwater somewhere. Around some quills that I've probably already collected. At least despite the fact that, you know, we're in, you know, ice world here. The water doesn't hurt. I mean, this is a pretty open water area. Uh, that's that's just a pirate, and we've already returned his hat. Could have sworn I was seeing some glitching happening there. I hope that was just me. That's not just Gloomy Gem Grotto again, is it? Yeah, it is. i move this window here a little bit.
I, I do wish that uh you had like outlines for where the quills were. And you can like technically reco recollect them, but uh they're more mostly just there to show like oh wait a minute. Where are you? I saw ya. There you are. Okay. So now where's that cave with the snowman in it? I think I'm going to do the snowman and then I'm going to leave it at that for this area for now. Yep, oh, wrong button. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. So that's the cowboy taken care of. So now I have um now I have top hat man and I have pants man. And the classy snowman is located on the corner of igloo cliffs by the igloos and the edge of the cliff. Ah. Okay, I just have Pants Man left. I'm pretty sure. And I don't think you mentioned where Pants Man was.
Oh, hey. KG in a KG. Oh, obstacle course. Dang. There we go. KG and KG. Release. Yeah, that was straight up expecting you to have the flight. Located at the end of the frozen path near the entrance of the igloo cliffs. I, part of the problem is it doesn't actually tell you, like, oh, this is the frozen path, this is the igloo cliffs. Oh, there he is. Hooray! That was the last missing item. Finally, our cabaret act can continue touring. Alright, so we got that taken care of. I'll take another cursory glance at uh, around here and see what we can see, but I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else today other than uh, head over to level 5. Well, we did get a fair bit of progress done, though. We super cleared a level. We um, managed to, to clean out a little bit more of this one, including the friggin' snowman. Because that's, like, probably the worst part of the stage. I am surprised I did not fall to my doom. 
I'm surprised I did not fall to my doom again. Okay, I was going to take a look at uh, the first world as well, but uh, I'm running a bit low on time. Which honestly, uh, this vi this uh, session is probably going to go on for longer than most of our sessions have. So I remember the first one, uh, I ended up kind of cutting short a little bit, especially since I was still trying to get affiliate and I don't think anyone was here anymore. Um, then so I. Uh, like, one of them was basically cut short by frustration more than anything. I just need to remember how to get to uh I was like this game does a lot of things right, but it does some things wrong, and one of those things wrong is everything is too big. And it's hard, it's like, especially if you're like me and um, have a terrible memory. It's really easy to get turned around. Ah, there we go. Okay. Found it. You might suck at remembering certain things, but you still remember like some things that are from like last week. And I'm not great at remembering most things that happened last week. Now, a nice little pit stop here. Take us the rest of the way. Open up the easy way back.
and it's Hivery Tower's headquarters. Ow. Open up some more paths back here. Uh, knock knock. Now we don't need our drive tarma. The, oh, it's you. How'd you make it all the all this way past my corporate creations? We walked past most of them. We had to whack one or two though. Quack! You foul fool! I told you you should have invested in that private military portfolio. Anyway, now that you're here, fancy coming up for a cup of get the heck off my property? Yes, please. Have the slice of give me my book back. But my office, uh, my office open door policy is closed unless you've collected, say, one hundred pages total. Come on, Laylee. Let's see if beating their challenges and collecting a hundred pages can gain their attention. Uh, so we are currently at 95. So technically, we could just not do um, stage 5 and still get to the end of the game. Which is kind of hilarious. Now what's over here? Okay. Okay, I misread that entirely. Ow. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah, I know. Well, let's try again. Okay. Slalom through this. Well, now how am I supposed to? Okay. Okay, I, I'm holding forward now, and I think I'm actually going faster. So that's probably it's probably part of the issue. Dang it. Ah. Uh. Two, one, pooh, pagey and a cagey, release. Definitely first try. 
You can't prove otherwise. Okay, I've I've hit the uh I've hit the ceiling. No, that's not what I want to do. Well, that wasn't the correct approach. Oh, whatever. Ten minutes left. Let's just head to the final tome. Oh, geez. Okay, that hurts. We need 12 pages to unlock Galleon Galaxy. And then we need another 15 to expand further. Let's go ahead and boom. I'm pretty sure it is an achievement to um to unlock and expand all of the uh grand tomes. Expando Patronum. Exactly. <laughs> very good, Jewel, very good. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing next week. The battlefield grows larger, huh? Watch your backs out there, kids. And come and come find me when you're ready for a new mission. You're saying that as though we've already accepted your original miss mission. So basically space world, gotcha. Also, there is no actual water, it's just hurdy floor. So in that way it's Kind of like in Reboot, where um, there isn't actually water, it's just if you go out into what looks like water, you're just gonna die. Anyway, let's take one last look at our totals, 96 pages. Out of 145, 760 quills out of 1010, so that's about three quarters. Um, looks like we're only missing the um, the blue um, ghostwriter in the capital casino. I wish it would show how many tokens we have in this screen, but oh well. Moody Maze Marsh has been cleared, we never need to go there again. Uh, we have uh, three loose pages and then one more for getting all of the uh, quills. We have six pages left there, as well as the energy extender. Uh, 
th- uh, three quills and 11 pages there. And some of these in Hivery Towers might also be um, outside of Hivery Towers, back where we started. And of course, we've got Diddly Squat and Galleon Galaxy because we just got here. All right. Well, with that, that's going to be the end of today's stream. So, I want to thank y'all for watching. We had Jewel, we had Sim Guy, we had uh, Tyrion. Uh, and we'll be, will we be raiding anyone? Looks like no. So, I'll just be sending you on your way. The next schedule stream is on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream where we are going to. Uh, I would Jewel, but I am out of water. I'll do it after the stream. Uh, so the next scheduled stream is uh, on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, the extra long run stream where we're going to continue clearing out uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Next stream after that is on uh, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. Uh, it is the Sunday Super Shuffle, which who knows what will happen there. And that brings us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream where we are going to continue our run through ukulele. So yeah, that's going to about do it. Um, so after the stream, Jewel, I promise I will go get some water and I will hydrate. Just my glass is empty right now and I'm not going to extend the stream another three minutes just to go get some water and hydrate. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that'll do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.